miles away from my uh, destination, I realized that I didn't grab the coffee filter. So I made a, a quick dash to the nearest store and picked up these cone filters. And when I got to camp uh, last night, I got myself some birch bark. Not really too much water about it because there's birch bark everywhere. Site 17, Ireland site on Little Saranac. There's nobody here practically. I say 66% of the sites are available, if not more. Some guy lost his canoe last night. He was out in the kayak looking for it. I told him if I found it, I'd give him three blasts of my whistle. I got up on an outcropping with my binoculars and way to the, to the north. I see a white object. Can't say for certain it's his, but it looks like a canoe to me. I've been trying to get his attention to no avail. I know where he's at. If I have time, I'll take a paddle over across the lake to where he's at, but that might not happen. I'm pretty tired. I'm hoping to get his attention. What if you, he's right across the there somewhere, some island. This is beautiful. Great day. I might pull up overnight or the layover day. It certainly is worthy.
That sounds good to me. Thank you. The mountains are shrouded in cloud cover right now. But this is really great. And there's multiple islands that way. I hope the book's right. It's pretty treacherous. Can't really see where you're walking. They're screwed up here. Wow, well, like that. Last time, you're gonna walk right in the middle here, walk on water. You go either way, one way or another, you're gonna sink. Like just happened. And it's just peace and quiet. Never really felt that peace on the lake. And the Saranax. They are beautiful. No doubt about that. Boat uh, travel is allowed. And there's 
numerous. And it wasn't so bad this time of year. But in the summertime, you can't even get a slice unless you book early. I think it's all downhill from here, hopefully, for the most part. You see all these dead leaves? They smell wonderful. I love the smell of fallen leaves, but my nose doesn't. I've been diagnosed with allergies to decaying woodland matter. The insides of my nostrils swell up, especially at night. I can't breathe. Normally, I wear a nose strip at home, and that works just fine. But when I'm out here, the nose strip does nothing. I have to use aspirin, a couple of sprays up the nose. Each nostril does the trick. Oh, this must go downhill to the lake. That's what I said earlier. Whew. What does one look like? That's almost maybe a mile, mile and a half of water. Deep pack and both in the back. Have to shoot straight to that point. Straight ahead. Yeah, right. Home free.